queen nine three all spades, you have the ace of spades in your hand, right? I do. That's very good for you. I have obviously. the nut blocker. Right. Yeah. So uh, sometimes you will see a reflection here of but Max Bayan. Yeah, he handed. Um, I'm kind of relatively new to the table, but from what I observe, my opponents are recreational players. Um, effective stack would be the largest. There's two opponents. The larger of them have 800, so let's say the effective stack is 800. Okay. Uh, the other one has 700. The under the gun limper who has 700 limps. Uh, I'm in the low jack with aces, black aces. Okay. I raised to 25, standard 4x plus 1 limper. Yep. And the low jack, the guy next to my left calls with $800. And then the under, the under gun limper calls. So you're in, I thought you said you were in the low jack. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm in the low jack and the high Low jack yeah, with aces, calls. the hijack calls, and the limper calls? Right. And the under the gun limper calls, yeah. So three so I'm ways. I'm in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Three so ways I'm in the middle. Pot's about 75 <clears throat> bucks, okay. Sure. Plus the blinds, whatever. Taking. Yep. Taking, and, but taking out the rake is about right. Right, probably 70. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh-huh. So the flop comes um, queen nine three, uniform spade. Uniform, huh? That's a new one yeah, on me. <laughs> same. Monotone, I guess, is the, yeah. name, the proper word. So the Jeez. flop is queen, nine, three, all spades. You have the ace of spades in your hand, right? I do. That's very good for I you, I have obviously. the nut blocker. Right. Yeah. So uh, sometimes you will see a reflection here of a check when you have a monotone board and you have the overpair with the the ace of spades um you don't have to necessarily protect against anything and uh but i do see it a little bit more on a more connected board like if the board had come out like six seven eight in all spades and you had aces the ace of spades here queen nine three is somewhat disconnected there are some straight draws and stuff not shouldn't really be a whole lot of two pair pair here maybe like a queen nine something like that but um i assume that the under the gun guy checks to you yeah, he checks, uh -huh. and I elect. Um, so I debate on betting or checking, mm -hmm. and I might bet my ace king with ace of spades or the ace jack with ace of spades, and I uh, feel like I should have some strong hands in my range to check. Uh -huh. um, and I don't want to bet and get raised. This is another thing, and I don't feel I need to protect against much. So um, I check. Okay, so here are checks. Yep. So, and then the hijack bets, um, somewhat disconcerting $60. So about two thirds, kind of, for, kind, of, kind of a big bet. Hijack bet 60. Okay. Yeah. So he bet 60 under the gun called, I think raising would be an overplay. Um, I just, I'm not trying to get anyone off a flush if they flop the flush. So, right. Just right. Called. So <laughs> under the gun calls. And you just call. Hero calls. Yeah, getting good odds here to peel. So, and I might have the best hand. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I would I would love this spot. I think that once you check and it goes call, call, I mean, I think this is all fine. So the pot's 255 now, right? Yeah. About Something like that, that or 250. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Turn is a inconsequential four of diamonds. Okay. Now, under the gun takes the lead. Maybe that's 90. Oh, well, that's interesting. So under the gun, who limped and then called your, you know, limp call pre, started with 700. He overcalls the flop, and now he leads for 90. That's 90. And, you know, the four doesn't really do anything, really. I mean, unless the guy is playing, like, some ridiculous range of, like, queen four suited or something like that under the gun. But let's just practically say that it doesn't really do anything it's not like it's an eight or a jack where somebody might make a straight or two pair so it's very bizarre to have somebody check over a call and then lead into two people with like a hand like king queen or queen jack uh this almost seems like it's either some sort of low flop flush that the guy is kind of playing 
sort of safe or like two like a two pair or a set. So you'll see guys play the um, monotone boards kind of slow to see a safe card on the turn. So it's possible he could have like a hand like pocket threes, you know, something like that. Um, at this point, I really don't know if there's anything for you to do but call. Um, I'm assuming right. you called. Is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty insulated from. I don't think anyone's going to raise like hijacks because I happen to blocker right. So, but I am worried about what he holds. But I, I despite that, I do call. Well, you can't hijack. fold. I mean, I mean, it, I mean, if you well, had like, if I get raised by King High Flush, that's not good, right? No, no. But um, I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying, you can't fold to this bet, right? Even no, though there's a guy behind bet. you. I mean, it would be interesting. Unless I know the other guy's going to raise, but yes, right. It would be interesting if you had like red aces here, or red kings, or something like that. If you'd ever consider folding to this action, because it is um, pretty bizarre. So you call the ninety, okay? And then the hijack calls, kind of like. So the hijack too. also calls. So yeah, two seventy fairly quickly, yeah. So now the pot's like five twenty ish, I would say, and it looks like the guy's got what, like maybe oh, just over five hundred left in the stack, the end of the gun, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go to the river. Um, river comes a three of clubs, pairing the board, so it would counterfeit something like a queen nine or something. Right. Less combos of obviously yeah. pocket threes, right? Goes down Less to three to one. Threes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm trying to gauge the size of the, uh, I, like, like if he bets really big, I'm probably just going to have to fold. But um, I don't know. He bet 130. He bets 130? Yeah. It's giving me five to one, basically. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, I think at this step, I mean, I think it's a call for sure here, 130. Well, let me ask you this question. So are you saying that if he bet like, so if he if he moved all in or say he bet like say like over three fifty you were gonna fold with the aces the aces spade it's just gonna give him a flush basically. Well, I don't know the exact number, but I even think two hundred to two fifty plus is probably very strong in my opinion on this type of action. Right. I, I mean, on, it's just in my opinion. Right. It's just something to. I mean, it is really something though that the river is actually somewhat good for you in the sense that now, like we talked about. You know, the queen nine doesn't beat you, and now there's two thirds less combos of pocket threes. He would have to have limp called with nines and play it this way, which I guess it's possible. He's not going to have queens due to pre flop. So now it's just all flop flushes. Most of the suited hands that somebody would play, when you look sort of down at the combinations, is ace x suited, right? He can't have that because you have the ace of spades. I mean, obviously, it's possible that he could have flopped like, you know, seven, eight of spades, six, eight of spades, whatever, five, six of spades. But yeah, it would be interesting. I think my number would be like a, a very large bet, especially with the guy behind you, too, right? I mean, this isn't even a multi way spot. Now, if he checked to you, what would you have done? He bet 130, mm -hmm. but if he checked to you, what would you, what would you have well, done? Well, that's an interesting question. I was going to ask you that question. I, I could see an argument for betting, but I'm probably leaning towards checking. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's a bet. I don't think okay. that he's going to be checking many flushes that are played with this way. It's possible. Um, but, you know, I don't think that he's got quads and are played this way or boats up and now plays this way and going for a check raise. I think it's a bet when checked to even into two people because of the fact that it's, you know, especially good for you with the three. But here, I mean, here this is just a call. I mean, the sizing is such that it's one quarter – you know, it's not super small stakes, but it's kind of like mid-ish. I mean, it's a 2-5 game, but the, I see enough crap that goes on here that I'm not going to fold to um to 130, that's for sure. I'm I'm assuming you called. Um, yeah, I'm I mean, I'm worried about low ja uh, hijacks, so that's going to uh -huh. be the primary reason why I would fold to a large bet. Uh-huh. Uh or and maybe check the the river if checked to me because I'm really worried that hijack might have a flush. Um, a non-nut flush obviously. So, um, yeah, I call and then hijack calls, like snap calls. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Under the gun has a seven, eight of spades. Oh, he did. He does have a small flush. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, hijack has uh, the jack 10 of spades. Wow. Two flop flushes? Yep. And I have the nut flush blocker. So, what's the Wow, that's, that? that's pretty crazy. So, jack 10 of spades didn't put in any money. Well, that's... That's interesting. If if I put myself in the hijack spot, 
And obviously, so you check, right? We bet a flop flush with a open ended straight flush draw. And then it goes call, call. And now on the turn, the under the gun guy now just bets out into us. Because with Jack Ton of Spades, I always love these sort of uh, monotone boards and sort of suit distributions and looking what's in your hand, right? So Queen 9 3 turns a four. We have, um, let's pr play out of the hijacked perspective. We have the Jack and the 10 of Spades. The Queen and the Nine are out there. I don't give the guy from under the gun playing check over call lead with the nut flush with ace X of spades. I just, I, that's a line that I would just so, ever, he going to check over call and then bet the turn. So I don't give him that either. So really with jack 10 of spades, you're losing to the king high flush. Now, because we have the jack and the 10 in our hand, what king high flush could he have on queen nine three? King eight? King seven, I think if I'm the hijack and I look at my hand being jack 10 of spades, I have to put in a raise at some point if I just totally dismiss the fact that under the gun is not going to have ace X of spades playing it this way. And I'm blocking all the kicker, all the king X normal kicker type hands that you would play as a suited hand. You see what I'm saying, Garland? Yeah, I mean. Like I, you're going to give I the don't... guy king eight, five, king eight of spades from under the gun? No, I mean, that. well, you know, people play suited crap all the time, right? So I'm not going to dismiss like a king eight or king seven of spades completely. From but, uh, I mean, from he, a limp call he, under the gun, but he's going to be much more likely to have all the hands, all the suited connected hands, eight, seven, eight, six, seven, yeah. six, six, five. There's just more of hands. Course. I think I'm going to, because I have jack 10, specifically jack 10, I think... Mm -hmm. I would put in the yeah, raise at that. That's point. worth a value raise. Yeah, um, because at some point, right? it probably on the turn. To be honest with you, I, I think I raise. I think I raise the turn and I get it in with that guy. Okay. Um, yeah. One he has other, to be worried about the nut flush slow plate or something. Yeah. It just I, the nut flush. If the nut flush is a check over call and then lead on the turn. I mean, if he's got the nut flush, so be it. It's so rare to see this. The other thing, interesting thing too, just about numbers of hands and stuff like this. Um, it's very very rare to ever see three flop flushes. I've only seen it really like one time. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think that you can do anything. And I mean, the Jack Ton of Spades guy got a little bit of value, but if you can knock out thinking about somebody actually having the nut flush, and then you've got like the say second or third nut flush and one of the Broadway cards is out there, like in this case, then you can really, really boil down what somebody has. Uh, I appreciate the call Garland. Thank you very much.